Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to cover the intuition behind polynomial regression. All right, so let's get started. So just as a basic definition, polynomial regression models the relationship between the independent variable x and the dependent variable y as an nth degree polynomial in x. Okay, so let's, what, what do we mean by this? So let's take a look at a practical example. Let's assume that we wanted to obtain a relationship between the number of years of experience and the employee's salary. For example, you went out there, you collected the data, you said, okay, if I have, for example, let's say a fresh grad who has, let's say, you know, like no experience or maybe one year of experience, we will give him, for example, let's say $30,000, for example, uh, a year. And then as that employee uh, improves over time as they acquire more experience then they become way more valuable so their salary is expected to go up okay so you went out there you collected the data as you know, as for example let's say a data scientist or as an HR professional and the data looks like this okay so what you could do they can say okay maybe I will go and try to fit a straight line to this data so if you try to fit a straight line to the data you will find that you're gonna get a bad fit okay the line will not gonna exactly or fit the training data and that's why we wanted to increase what we call the order of the polynomial so if we try to fit a straight line one of the major challenges when you use straight line which is you know like a simple linear regression for example is that that straight line is very rigid okay it's not flexible you can not bend it it's like, you know, one line and you, you have to change the orientation of the line, but the line itself doesn't change. And that's why we come up with more complex equation, that's such as this equation, which is a polynomial equation. And this equation is simply can be modeled, again, here we have our independent variable x, our dependent variable y, and this equation simply can be fitted uh, using this curve instead, which is a lot more flexible compared to the straight line and that's why we're going to be able to achieve better results using a polynomial regression model instead. So let's take a look at the actual equation. So as you guys can see here, my equation equals 2y equals 2, b node plus b1 times x. And as you guys can see, b node plus b1x, if we stop here, that will be my simple linear regression model, right? However, for polynomial regression, we add additional parameters. So we add instead of x we add an addition to that we add b2 another coefficient multiplied by x square and then we add b3 times x cubed and so on we keep adding up parameters as much as we could but the more parameters you add the more complex the model will become and the more coefficients we're going to be having okay so that's that means more memory usage more um, uh, computational complexity we need and so on so as you guys can see here, we can stop by when we reach bn x power n, where n could be 4, 5, whatever you want, okay? And that's why we call it the nth degree polynomial in x, all right? Okay, that's pretty much polynomial regression in a nutshell. It's very simple, very straightforward. So let's take a look at a quick quiz. What I want you guys to do is that here we have um, a relationship between the horsepower and the mileage per gallon, or MPG, Okay, which is again one practical example we're going to be covering in um, when we uh, go to the Jupyter Notebook and start to build our, um, our projects. And what we want to do here is I wanted to see, okay, which one is linear, which one is a second degree, and which one is a fifth degree out of these green, uh, orange, and uh, blue line. Please go ahead, pause the video, and I will see you guys after the challenge. All right, I hope you guys were able to figure out the challenge. What I ask you guys to do is to simply match, you know, these three options with the three curves. Again, it's very, very easy. So one is linear, that matches the orange line here because it's linear line. Here we have the second degree. So the second degree would be fit with this one, okay, which looks like a quadratic to me. And then we have a fifth degree. Again, as you increase the order of the polynomial, as the line becomes way more flexible. And that's why you come up with all these, like you find, you find that, you know, there's the curve increases and then goes down and then increases and then go down and so on. So you can have more flexibility. And that's why this will match a fifth degree polynomial. That's all what it is. All right. 
So let's take a look at uh, additional reading material. So if you guys wanted to get more information, you please go ahead and check these two books. We have Understanding Machine Learning, and we have an introduction to statistical learning in R. And again, both of them are free books. Here are the, here are the links to the books. And you can find a ton of information on polynomial regression in these pages, 126 and 266. And that's it. That's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And in the next lecture, we're going to start right away into, into, um, into um, coding our first practical project. Please stay tuned. Best of luck. And I will see you guys in the next lecture.